to nut up or shut up because today guys we are talking about zombie land all right what's up guys my name's isaiah hill and as you know from what i just said i am talking about one of my favorite zombie movies of all time first off amazing that's it i'm just gonna draw it there maybe i should just send the video nah i can't we get you so, Zombieland stars Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone, Abigail Breslin, also features Mike White and Bill Murray playing himself. And this is like a film I remember coming out like uh, in 2009, and and like um, I was really enjoyed it. Like I really enjoyed this film. I love it because this film is funny to me, and it says Super Bad Me, Shaun of the Dead. And what's really interesting about this film is. There's, like, so much, like, that, like, I, it pays respect to, like, zombie movies, but also comes up, like, with its own thing. It's basically, like, uh, it is, like, Shaun of the Dead. It is comedic. I never saw, like, the super bad element. I think they were just saying that because Emma Stone's in it, but, but anyway, that, again, ahead of myself. So, Woody Harrelson, who, who many people might know from the, the hit film Kingpin, or a very serious film, um, No Country for Old Men. And which is a very good movie in my opinion. I really enjoy it. Jesse Eisenberg, you may know him from the Social Network or Batman uh, uh, vs. Superman, uh, Dawn of Justice, which he receives a lot of hate for. Emma Stone, super bad. She recently won an Oscar not that long ago for La La Land. And she's in quite a bit of movies. She also was Gwen Stacy in Spider-Man and appeared in a very uh, good, and one of my favorite movies that my, of my mother's and also one of my favorites, uh, The Help. Abigail Breslin, I mainly know her from Science. I don't know her like in that many other movies. But since the new Zombieland movie's coming out, I thought I'll share my opinions on this. I really enjoyed this film because it is funny. It's so funny. It's comedic. These guys, like uh, all th four of these. Oh, I was covering up Abigail Breslin's face. It They add like a genuine friendship. It's like a, you got a nerd. You got a badass. Excuse my language. You got a... You got a hot girl who is like really like uh, someone you don't mess with and you got like a kid who reminds me of ellie from the last of us if you guys ever played last of us it's a ps3 or now well it's a sony exclusive now but if you can play it by all means i recommend it if you can find any way to play it by all means i highly recommend it and it's really like that woody harrelson plays a really um convincing guy like how he really is because i always saw woody harrelson as like that guy i never saw him like as he was in kingpin but i do enjoy his movies i do think he is a great actor jesse eisenberg many are like oh yeah the social network guy well i knew him in this before social network when actually watching social network then watching this i was like wow that's uh that's pretty interesting emma stone i only knew her from Super Bad. That was it. Abigail Breslin was just science, and unfortunately, it still is science in this film. Bill Murray and Mike White. Mike White, I mainly know for like um, School of Rock. Bill Murray, I am a Bill Murray fan. And but the thing is, like, what, what makes Zombieland work is how like these personalities they don't seem to fit, but they do. And Zombieland, there are four survivors in a zombie apocalypse. These guys like. Jesse Eisberg's character's name is Columbus. Woody Harrelson's character's name is Tallahassee. Um, Emma Stone's character's name is Wichita. And Abigail Breslin's character's name is Little Rock. The thing is, like, that's their destin Tallahassee and Columbus, that's their destinations. That's what they're trying to head to. And Tallahassee even says no names. Just so they don't get too familiar. <clears throat> but... They become a family in their own right because how they're acting. They appear like Tallahassee becomes like a father figure for Little Rock. Uh, Wichita falls in love with um, Columbus. It works in a way that the film, the the way how the film works, in my opinion, is this: because the characters are relatable, it's kind of like a messed up version of the Breakfast Club. Hear me out. In the Breakfast Club, like they have personalities that seem to like not go with the others. Here they have personalities like where you're like, huh? These these guys wouldn't get along, but they do get along, and it seems genuine. That's the thing. Like I feel like a lot of films do with friendships; they don't feel as genuine. But Zombieland, like what they're like, they feel like a family. And I remember when I saw this, and I was like, they need to have a sequel to this because this film was funny. It's so enjoyable. Wait, Wesley, is there anything in the opening? Yeah, look at that. 
That's one thing I like about Blue Race is the art. And you may know it was two discs, but one of the other discs were, uh, the, like, one that just broke, and that's, like, why I like with the case. But I don't care, the movie's still good. But the film, like, how it, how it really is, like, and I'm really excited to see the new Zombieland movie, because I've been wanting to see one for, like, years, and it's been, like, ten years. And my mom, oh, is, was a huge fan of zombies. Her favorite show is, like, The Walking Dead. She loved this movie. We watched this film like so many times and we just enjoyed it. Um, I one thing I really enjoyed about this film in particular was like how the characters they felt so real. Because like I said, like movies today, like sometimes I feel like some characters aren't real. They're, there's not real connections. But there are like some genuine moments. It feels like you feel for these characters. They have like past that they do not want to bring up they have history like with people that they do not even know they feel like that they have done stuff that they should that they could have done better they think that their ideas are not going to last because what's going on around them in zombie land there is a high body count because they kill zombies but it show but like the whole thing like the whole opening of the film it shows like basically what happened to the world because of zombies and you get, like, a really interesting list of rules, too. Like, with cardio, double tap, which is the sequel name for the movie. Uh, and uh, beware of bathrooms. Like, just to name a few. And the film feels so genuine. That's why I can actually sit and watch this. I actually watched this not too long ago. And I was like, you know, it still holds up. And I really like it. I like, I like the visual jokes. I like the jokes they put in the film. Because, in my opinion, it is genuinely funny. The thing is, what what makes Zombieland that not appear like to just be like a one trick pony? It appears to be like honestly a film like where you can build off of because they recent because they try to get a sequel out as soon as possible. Zombieland was originally supposed to be a TV show, but it's just like a joke. Like I'll give you like a sli slight spoiler, but like Zombie Kill the Week that was supposed to be like in the show. Like whenever the show would air, there will be a Zombie Kill the Week. And they feature it, like, in the movie. It's, like, an offhanded joke a little bit. And then the Amazon tried to pick it up. Then they wanted, like, Amazon to pick it up. And it could have worked, but... But I'm kind of glad how they're sticking, like, with, uh... Just, like, regular zombie land. And, guys, I do recommend this movie. If you are a fan of zombies, if you are a fan of, like, Shaun the Dead, I recommend this. Uh, the film is genuinely funny, in my opinion. The film has, like, a set piece. It makes things, like, seem... It doesn't make zombies seem boring. Because cause this was, like, during, like, a zombie craze. Like, and it came out at the right time. And there is still somewhat of, like, where people are, like, obsessed over zombies. So, when this film, like, comes out tomorrow, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people. People have been expecting a sequel to this for so long. It's been ten years. And I really hope... Because... It's somewhat similar to, like, um, The Incredibles. When The Incredibles came out, everyone was expecting a sequel. And then, like, ten years later, we we hear about a sequel, and then we get the sequel. And it was still good. I have hopes that this will be good still. Overall, like, I highly recommend it. The performances are amazing. The direction, the writing, everything. You name it, it's amazing. The makeup, I can't even, like... I have to say that's like, like some of the best zombie makeup. This is for a comedy. They actually even said that some of the uh, make like uh, some scenes like was sh were shot first because they were still like trying to get like the zombie design, like with multiple zombies. That's why you like see them like with their faces not exactly too bad, but then like later you see like their faces like like really messed up. Because they said, like, they were working on it. So, like, earlier, you see, like, more messed up faces. But, like, later in the film, they even, like, said, like, there are some things. But they pretty much got a nail pack, like, for retake, reshoots. And I'm not going to tell you, like, where they are. Because it's pretty impressive. But this film, it feels genuine. It feels like a heart. It has a heart. It has, like, great characters, great build-up, great direction, great everything, like, with this. The only thing I can kind of say is... Like, negative. I wish there was a sequel a lot sooner. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the, this to me is not a film I have a lot to complain about. I don't have to complain. I mainly give it praise. 
And this is, in my opinion, an amazing film. A reason why I think people might not like this is because some of the uh, visuals can be dated, some of the effects, but I think it holds up really well. Woody Harrelson does a good job, Jesse Eisenberg does a good job, Emma Stone, Abigail Breslin, they, they work their parts really well. Emma Stone, like, shows that she can, like, maturely act, because, like, even in Superbad, I saw her as that, but then when you, like, see her, like, in The Help in La La Land, it's like, wow, the chick from Superbad can act really well, because that was, like, unfortunate, because, like, a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, well, she's gonna end up just being, like, the hot chick. Thank God she was, because she is a marvelous actress. She is amazing. Abigail Breslin uh, was nominated for an Oscar, like, for, like, one of her, for Signs, I think. And, yeah, all these people are Oscar nominees. Emma Stone has won an Oscar. And that's, that's amazing. They have been in some pretty serious roles. They prove that they can act. And I can't wait to see the gang reunite. And so, guys, that's it. Zombieland, I believe, deserves an amazing. It is a film that I recommend that people should check out. And if you haven't seen it already... Please watch it before you go see uh, the Double Tap, and and I believe that's it on me. Zombie Land was released in 2009. A sequel comes out like I believe tomorrow, and we are get and it's finally here ten years later, and I am excited. Well, guys, that's it out of me. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you guys wish to see more videos like this or my Let's Plays, by all means, uh, subscribe. If you guys wish to uh, share this with your friends and family, by all means, go ahead. If you guys want to ask, say, or request something, by all means, go ahead and comment down below. My name is Isaiah Hill. I'm really excited to see what they're going to do for Zombieland, uh, the double tap. I really enjoyed the first film. I really hope I enjoyed the second one. And thank you guys so much for checking this out. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. And I am signing off. Bye, guys.